Yo, what is going on everyone? You guys got the Bar Kage of the Hidden Gainesville. I'm back here today for a pretty special video. I've got my top 10 favorite planche exercises I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video. Now, this video is kind of going to serve as maybe like a planche tutorial V2. I just thought that this would be a really fun format for me to present uh, some of the different planche exercises that I like and some of the ones that I think are the best for learning the skill. Um, I've also got ideas for a lot of other top 10s, so maybe if this video gets 100 likes, then I'll do top 10 front lever exercises, and then after that, I'll move on to some of my uh, more funny and interesting top 10s that I'm possibly planning on doing. Um, so a couple things to keep in mind with this list, okay? So yes, these are going to be the top 10 exercises. That doesn't mean number one is literally the only exercise on the list that you need to do to get planche. I would say maybe take three or four of these exercises on the list and kind of make a routine with that. Um, and also one thing that's not going to be on the list is attempts. Um, I just felt like, like you guys know I love attempts and I think that attempts are the best way to train planche. It would be easy number one um, but I figured it was honestly common sense and kind of obvious that you should be attempting planche probably every time that you're going to train it. Some people disagree with that. And to those people, I just say, <laughs> just say, <laughs> wear Pelican and wear VG, bro. <laughs> All right. Anyway, yeah. So yeah, attempts not on the list because I feel like it's just obvious common sense. If I put it on there, it'd be a cop out. Um, but <clears throat> Anyway, we are going to kick things off right away with number 10 on the list, which is the standard planche progressions. That being the tuck planche, the advanced tuck planche, the straddle planche, uh, the half lay planche, actually, which I didn't demonstrate here, um, and the full planche itself, of course. Now, uh, the progressions have actually gotten a little bit outdated, in my opinion. They were really big back in the day when I was learning planche, but since then, um, and we're going to talk about this later in the video, other exercises have been discovered by people that seem to be more effective for learning this exercise. But um, I do personally still believe that the specifically the tuck planche and the advanced tuck planche can be really good for beginners when they're just jumping into the move because both of those progressions don't require a crazy amount of strength and they are very good for uh, getting a feel for the protraction in planche. Um, moving on to the straddle planche, I actually do want to say that the straddle planche is, in my opinion, the worst out of the progressions, and I do not believe that the straddle planche is actually necessary to achieve a full planche. And the reason why I think the straddle planche is a bad progression is because the straddle planche really makes it harder to engage your glutes when you're performing that exercise. And as you guys, some of you may know, um, glute engagement is very important when you are doing the full planche. So because of that, I don't really like the straddle planche. I do think the half lay is a pretty good progression, a great way to bridge the gap between the straddle and full though. So once again, we have number 10, which is the standard planche progressions. Moving on to number nine, we have scapula push-ups, which again, amazing exercise for beginners to really establish uh, mind-muscle connection when they are uh, protracting. Really great way to strengthen protraction. And even for more advanced athletes, I believe that scapula push-ups can serve as a really good warm-up for planche and is just one that isn't very hard to practice and one that can actually give you pretty good benefits. So number nine, scapula push-ups, okay? Coming in at number eight, we have dumbbell raises. Now, dumbbell raises are pretty good uh, for this... Similar reasons mentioned above, uh, great for beginners because you can completely scale the difficulty. It's really easy. You just take lighter um, lighter dumbbells and over time increase the weight. Um, and yeah, again, just really good for strengthening the shoulders and you can even just hold the dumbbells out um, and just sort of do like sort of an inverted planche lean on them. Um, nothing too crazy about them, mainly Again, just good for working the shoulders. And also if you uh, lie on the bench or floor, make sure you keep your core tight and your uh, glutes tight as well because then that can actually mimic the planche as well. Okay, 
Up next at number seven, we have uh, tuck planche uh, push-ups and also the tuck planche press. I kind of just threw them in the same because they were both uh, tuck planche skills. Um, both of these skills are, in my opinion, pretty good for building strength of the planche, again, mainly in uh, the shoulders, of course. Um, the one main downside to these is that you are working in the tuck planche, and the tuck planche has significantly less lean than the real planche, so you're going to want to practice some of the later exercise that I mentioned in the video that actually do have the same amount of lean as the planche, but both these exercises are really good for building strength, like I said, and also they can kind of, when you do get your full planche, I feel like these exercises can definitely give you a head start when you're ready to jump into more advanced moves, such as the um, uh, planche push-up and also the um, planche press, okay? Up next is number six, which is actually the pseudo Maltese uh, or forearm Maltese or box Maltese. There's so many different names for this exercise. Um, this is a, is a good exercise, and this is one that I'm not super crazy about anymore, but one that I used to really, really like. Um, the main reason why I'm not crazy about it anymore is because, well, actually, I'll tell you why I love it first. So it's really good. It's one of the best exercises for focusing on um, your core for the planche and also just kind of what to do with your lower body and planche is really good at engaging your glutes core and strengthening those muscles for planche. Um, however, the one thing that this exercise does seem to neglect is um, training the shoulders. Um, yeah, when you're on the boxes or bars or whatever, you, you're you pushing down with your shoulders a little bit to keep yourself up there, but I feel like that's just simply not enough. So if you want to work this one, I highly, highly recommend that you combine it with some of the exercises listed in the video. But um, for a situation where maybe you have a planche or something and you're really noticing you're lacking in like lower body tension or something, then this could be a really good one for you. But um, in my opinion, this is one that you really need to pair with some of these other exercises, okay? Okay, moving on to number five. We have a really good one in my opinion. Uh, this is the straddle to full planche. Basically, for this one, you're gonna start in a straddle planche and then close your legs into full planche. It can be great. Uh, it's honestly, in my opinion, I think this is probably the single best exercise uh, for the transition from straddle to full. Um, when you're starting this exercise, you may not be able to hold the full planche, that's okay. Just do what you can. Over time, keep practicing, and one day you might just get your first ever full planche uh, coming out of a straddle planche. So you never know, but in my opinion, this is a really good exercise to practice uh, the straddle to full planche, okay? Up next, I can't, I actually have a notebook here. I can't even read my handwriting here. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, up next, number four, we have the planche raise uh, or planche swings. Um, I would say it's definitely better not to use momentum on these, but for the, this exercise, you're basically gonna start in just a support hold. Uh, you could do an L sit even, and you're just going to raise yourself into planche. You don't really have to hold it. You just wanna raise up and then come down and up and then down. And um, over time, maybe actually start try to work in like one second holds in there and yeah but this, this is a really good one for planche it's kind of like the straddle to full in the sense that it's a good way if you don't really have a full planche yet to really get a feel for being in that position so once again we have number four the planche raises so coming up next at number three the, we're starting to get into the really good exercises we have uh, planche negatives and pardon my poor handstand. My shoulder mobility is just so bad I cannot do uh, supinated <laughs> handstand on the floor. Uh, but anyway, you guys get the picture. So we have planche negatives. <clears throat> Basically with this one, you're gonna start in a handstand and you're gonna lower down into a planche as slow as you can and do the best you can to hold the planche uh, after the negative. If you can't hold it, that is okay. Uh, just do what you can. This is a fantastic exercise. It is one of the best. Um, and honestly, it is one of my favorite, not even just for unlocking the full planche, but also getting a stronger planche press and just building planche strength in general. The planche negatives is an absolutely fantastic exercise. Up next is the planche lean. <clears throat> planche lean, amazing exercise. Uh, once again, this, this one beats handstand negatives, in my opinion, because it's... 
basically is applicable to all levels. You can start doing planche leans from day one on your planche journey and you can do them even to the even when you are a freaking monster of planche. Um, over time, you're gonna lean farther and farther forward, getting closer and closer into the full position. You can even do planche lean jumps where you lean and jump with your feet off the ground, kind of get yourself into a full planche for like a second. Um, really just lean to the point where you feel like your feet are just about to come off the ground, hold it there, amazing exercise. <laughs> Absolutely love the planche lean. Coming in at number one, uh, a lot of you guys may have seen this coming, but number one is the band assisted full planche. The band, what better way, right, other than attempts to learn the planche? Well, <laughs> what am I even saying? Okay, the planche, the band planche is great because your base, your your planching just with assistance. So basically, if you were however many pounds lighter, you'd be able to do it. Um, <clears throat> ah, great way to get a feel for being in the position. Um, one of the best and just one that, again, you can actually do band assisted planche with all levels because, <clears throat> um, you can get a heavier band if you're a beginner. And then as you get more advanced, you can use a thinner one. Um, and yeah, over time, eventually you'll be doing it without a band. So to cap everything off, band assisted is the number one exercise because you're literally planching just with some help. Um, anyway, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the top 10 and found it helpful. Like I said, probably going to be making a front lever one, but I would absolutely love to hear some suggestions for top 10 videos that you guys like to see on the channel. Also, share down below uh, some really good planche exercises that weren't in my top 10 that you think possibly should have been. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on that. Of course, please like the video if you did. Um, and hit me with a nice subscribe to Ojutsu. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Who says?